today I am going to be making Bayesian traditional Christmas jug jug. So here I have my pot with some water and that is almost at a boil. And in this bowl, I have some salt beef. And it is beef that is cured with salt. And that's why we call it salt beef. And I'm going to say that's about a pound and a half. So I'm going to take my beef and I'm going to add it to my pot. And I'm going to let that cook until it is soft and tender so we want it to be like pull pork you want to be able to pull it apart like pull pork so that's what i'm trying to achieve so i'm going to cover this and let that cook until it is very soft and tender and look how tender that is It's like literally falling off the bone. Well, there's no bone on that, but it's literally falling apart. And FYI, I am prepping this ahead of time. Look how soft that is. Look how soft that is, guys. Right. Look at that. Okay. So I have these two turkey breasts here that I cleaned really well and I massage with some olive oil and I seasoned with some black pepper, some adobo, a little sprinkle of paprika, uh, onion powder and garlic powder and I also use a bit of homemade green seasoning and I'm going to cover this over and put them in the oven to bake. I'm only going to be using one of them with my salt beef. Okay, look how delicious this is, guys. I'm going to put the fork in there. Look how soft and tender that is. Oh, and my meat is coming apart. That's how soft and tender it is. It has been cooking for two and a half hours and it smells so good and I can't wait to taste this. Yummy. All right, just wanted to let you see what it looks like. I have all my ingredients, so let's go over them. So in this bowl is one of my very important main ingredients and this is the guinea corn flour. And this is specially made for this particular dish. And you can't just use any um, cornmeal flour to make this recipe. It has to be guinea corn flour. Here are all my fresh herbs, hot pepper, parsley, thyme, oregano, garlic, green onions, some unsalted butter, and here I have some homemade green seasoning. I will leave that link in the description box for you. I have an awesome video on how to make that. Here is my chopped onions. Here is my salt beef and my baked turkey. And those were prepped ahead of time. 
in this cup is some unsalted chicken stock just in case I need some liquid and one other important ingredient is my pigeon peas and these are the ones from the can unfortunately I wasn't able to get the fresh one so we're going to be using this today I've already went ahead and cooked them just a couple minutes and we're going to be doving these the peas and we're going to add all of the other ingredients to them all right so my pan is heated up on my stove so i'll meet you over there all right so we're going to add a little olive oil and get our onions going So this has been cooking for about five minutes and I've been stirring it constantly. So now I'm gonna add my meats. And the remaining of my fresh herbs. little crack black pepper just to taste let this cook for two minutes then we're going to turn the heat off and we're going to let it cool for just a little bit and we're gonna transfer this over to our blender or food processor or whatever you're gonna be using. So I went ahead and I turned the heat off 
and I've also tasted it for you the good thing about making it this way guys the meat is all cooked and you can taste it at this point it tastes really really awesome and the the fresh herbs oh my gosh it is delicious so delicious so I'm going to transfer this now over to my my blender this smells so amazing all right so I'm gonna add my chicken stock and then I'm gonna mix this everyone so here is the texture that I'm looking for and you can make it a little smoother than this it is totally up to you this has this is the texture It's a little you know not completely smooth but it has a little bit of bite okay so this is how I'm going to do mine. All right, so the next step, guys, we're going to go back to the stove and we're going to transfer this back into our pan. And then we're going to add our guinea corn flour and we're going to let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we're all done. So I have to tell you, I can eat this as is it is so delicious like that so now i'm going to add my guinea corn flour and you want to stir this constantly under low heat and you want to cook this for 10 to 15 minutes until the meal is completely cooked. So I'm going to meet you back when this is all done. So this has been cooking for 10 minutes and I just want to let you see what it looks like and i really think that we should bring this tradition back guys i'm telling you this brings back so much memories my grandmother used to make this but i remember it used to be very um thick and you know it would clyde you really quick you know if you eat too much of it um yeah it was a bit chunky and thicker much more than this and um i am very pleased at the way this turned out it smells so good and it tastes so delicious I know the color and the texture might not be very appetizing, but the taste is worth it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to add a little butter to this. And we are almost ready to turn the heat off. And you would use this as a side dish. So 
So we are all done. Done. All right, so it's time for taste test. And you can take a serving of this and you put it next to your Christmas dinner and boy, you are in heaven. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna taste a little bit for you. And there you go. Mm. It is delicious, really delicious. Thank you.